Welcome to Pouring Out Music and our latest episode of Words of Lyrics, where we interview guest artists and let them play a song at the end, so stick around for that. And if you want to go ahead and watch that performance now, click on this link here. Today our guest artist is... Lita Joyner. All right. So, uh, Lita, what do you do? Um, I'm the worship pastor at Freedom Church. Uh, that's what I do full time. And uh, every once in a while I get to play an acoustic gig, so that's pretty cool. And you sing as well and write? Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been writing or performing or any of that? Um, well, I started playing music when I was like five <laughs> and just gradually taught myself different instruments from that point. Um, I didn't really start writing until I was a teenager and decided that I was really bad at it for a long time. And then um, <laughs> uh, I entered into a competition when I was about 18. Um, it's called Fine Arts Festival. And um, that kind of got me writing again and I guess, trusting myself to do a good job at it. <laughs> Is there anything specific that you think happened to help you uh, be a better writer? Was anything that you specifically learned, or is it just something that just came along with time? For me, writing is never, um, even though it should be a little bit more structured, it's never structured for me. Um, I basically get random whims of inspiration and either write them or record them on a phone. <laughs> And then I'll go back and like literally right at this moment, I have probably 15 unfinished songs um, that at any given day I could have a whim of inspiration for and finish within one sitting. <laughs> so it's just a weird, it's a weird thing. And you have like uh, like an EP and, and things of your, of your own writing, right? Yeah, I have um, uh, an acoustic EP with five originals on it. Huh? That's great. And uh, like as far as like music, what you play, like what all do you play? Um, what do I play or what do I play well? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my main two instruments are guitar and drums. Uh, I, I've been playing those for years and, you know, excelled at those for years. But on the side, I can play some bass and some keys, but not very well. <laughs> Harmonica. Oh, right. Harmonica's great. <clears throat> and so you also perform just like in venues and places, right? Yeah, I play wherever they'll let me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I love to do acoustic shows and just play a bunch of covers and a few, throw in a few originals here and there. What do you think is like the difference or the similarities between playing both in church and in venues? They're actually like completely different. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, the motions are the same in a way, but um, there's a lot of prayer and preparation in leading worship and... Um, while you lead worship, having God, you know, kind of use you as a vessel, it's it's a completely different experience. Because when you're when you're playing and you're just playing like secular music and you're just you know, just playing around, it's it's more like you're kind of gauging um, you're gauging how the audience is perceiving it, which you do a, a measure of that in in worship leading. But when it's secular, it's all about how they're perceiving your performance and kind of trying to read what they like, what they don't like, and kind of trying to bounce off of that. There's an aspect of that in leading worship in that, um, you know, you do pay attention to what people are, are getting into and what, what God's really using in that moment. Um, but it's more of, um, it's, there's, like a, there's like an upward and an outward uh, aspect to leading worship having God, you know, speak to you and, and then implementing that to everybody else, basically. If that makes any sense no, at all. Yeah, <laughs> and we like to ask this to everybody. How has YouTube changed the way you listen or learn music? Or Well, you can pretty much type any, uh, any song into the uh, YouTube search and find, uh, you know, a tutorial for it. Like, like say you want to learn a guitar part to a song. Literally, all you have to do is type in YouTube, name of the song, name of the artist, tutorial, guitar, and then you know, you, you, can, you can learn it right there. I've learned a couple of guitar solos that way, you know, here and there. And, um, I, you know, I've made a couple of videos myself just on YouTube. Didn't really get very many views, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's always a work in progress, right? Yeah, but I mean, and also like... Uh, Whenever I hear a song on the radio and I, I find out who it's by, a lot of times I look it up on YouTube just to see the video. So that's changed the way that I, you know, like in the past I might have downloaded it right away, but now I can kind of test it out on YouTube and see, mm. <laughs> see whether I like it or not. <laughs> All right, so up next we're going to have Lita perform a song for us. 
Hi, I'm Lita Joyner, and this is a song called Lead the Way. Let's go chase our dreams together. I won't leave without you. And we can sail across the world. I will never doubt you. You just leave the way. Tell everybody where they can find you and your music. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube at Lita Joiner, and you can follow me on Twitter at underscore follow the Lita. All right. Don't forget to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Pouring Out Music. Until next time, see ya.